Hi everybody, welcome to Digital Tech Join. In this video, I am going to show you how to create an ASP.NET Core application and you use the DB Contest uh, class provided by Entity Framework to connect to database and also in this session we will see how to add the connection string in the app setting the JSON file uh, and you know establish a connection with the database. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, create a project in VS 2019. So we say create new project and we select ASP.NET Core Web Application. Next, we give it a name DB. We give it a DB demo application. Okay, and uh, we say create. We select web application model view controller and I untick this configure for HTTPS and I say create. So while the project is getting created, from uh, I'll also mention see I created a, a database called DB demo which has a table as customers and has some uh, records already which will be displayed in the view card view. Okay, so the project is loaded and you can see. Uh, this is what the ASP.NET code looks like. It doesn't have a web.config file. Instead, it has an app setting.json and then a startup and a program. And obviously, it has controller view, a model and view. So, let's do one thing. First thing, let's add the required packages. Uh, so, I use a NuGet uh, package manager and uh, add the following class Microsoft. I already have it Microsoft Entity Framework Core. I search for this Entity Framework Core. So, this is Entity Framework. Microsoft Entity, select this and also I require this. So, I'll first install this. I say Entity install. Uh, it'll ask prompt for acceptance. You say I accept, and you can see the output over here. It's getting installed. Okay, so this is finished then I also select Microsoft entity framework core dot SQL server because our backend is MS SQL server database so I select this and I say install so we can see in the output window it's getting installed It should not take yes it's got i accept installing yes this is also installed now what we do is that we go ahead and we add the connection string in the app dot setting json file so here we go ahead and we add the connection so we say connection string enter and then we say name of the connection i keep it as default connection and then I enter the connection at the server equals to this is its local database is db demo and I say integrated security just to through. If you say false, then you need to provide the username, password, or database. So we have added our connection string in app setting.json. Now we create a model. Say class is a customer DTO, and we add in the properties. Enter the props, double tap, so you get easily get this. And we sell say customer ID, then prop double tap string customer name and we simply copy this for other two fields that is mobile and email so our property is ready 
now we go ahead and add the db contest class so we i'll create a folder data and inside the data i'll create a class and name it as data contest okay now first field reference in this in this class we are actually going to call the db when inner db contest class and we will uh, inject the sql con uh, the collection string added in app setting dot json so first we'll add the reference in microsoft dot framework and we db contest inherit this class now we will create a constructor with a with an uh, options which is given over here so we say generate constructor data contest options so now as of now we don't do anything to this we leave it as it is we will be actually injecting our connection string from the starter clubs over here okay now apart from that we add a method to db, db set and we use a DTO customers and we say get and set. Right, this is the reference we have to use. Demo application. So this is then our, D, our DB contest class is ready, which will actually as of now fetch the customers and display it in the view class. Now let's go ahead and actually add the connection string use the connection string in the startup.cs file so you go to this configure services here is where we are going to inject the connection string also note the startup the constructor as a parameter of high configuration so we are going to use this configuration and call a connection string from our app setting.json so let's use that so first we go ahead we add a reference of Microsoft dot framework and using Microsoft dot entity framework dot ms sorry SQL. We require this two references. Now we come to configure services. We say services. Sorry, we say services dot add db contest we pass in our class which is there in the data folder data contest so we refer it it's 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 db demo application dot data okay and then say open bracket options and we say okay here we say options dot use sql server and here we are going to pass the fetch the connection string using the configuration dot get connection and we pass the name of the connection string that is default connection correct so so we name of the connection is default connection i hope it's correctly written fine so and obviously we have to add this okay so now this is what this is how the connection string is read from the app setting.json file and also injected in our constructor class of db contest over here okay so now let's go ahead and call this in a controller and display the record in a view so we use a default we go to a controller home controller we use index to fetch the data before that what we do is that we actually call the method reference the method db contest data contest and we say so this is we are used to reference of data contest okay and we pass it to the constructor of this so we say data contest 
and we say underscore this okay so we have declared it and we are passing it in a default constructor now it is available for our use simply we need to do is that underscore we are returning this to our view dot customers which is a table name dot to list and that's it now in the html i i guess in the property i also need to say that this is our primary key so customer id is a primary key so you have to mention that and you have to use this reference system the component You should have taken it automatically. He so I guess you have to go and manually add it. Components is a system dot components data. Okay, so this is done. Yes, sorry, there was a type error. So key. So now we go ahead. We have called our view. Now everything looks good. What we do is that we go to the index view go to definition here sorry it's over here home and view index so we are going to remove this and i have the code html code ready i'll explain this code we paste it and we just first use a reference of our using db demo dot models that's it so this is a very simple HTML code. It's just displaying the data. It is iterating the model which is passed from the controller and uh, displaying this fields, custom ID, name, mobile and email. So let's go ahead and just run the project. And uh, let's see how it looks. So I, there are multiple things I demonstrated over here. Uh, the use of connection string, adding the connection string in your app settings or JSON and using the db contest class so i guess um, um, like most of the things are not so as similar to the previous version where we had a web.config and we used to simply add it over there so yes this is the data is displayed so i hope you are clear with this uh, subject which i explained there are more videos to come in on asp.net core keep watching this channel subscribe and like the video thank you very much viewers